Well, this is Rick Kang Yang. I'm an associate professor of uh, computer science. The major theme of my research is in the area of uh, 3D reconstruction, 3D modeling, and uh, 3D visualization. Right now, we have tools to capture the environment in 2D uh, very nicely, but we really don't have any nice tool to capture our environment in 3D. We have uh, black and white uh, photos, and, and we have color photos. So the next dimension, naturally, will be the 3D aspect. I started my PhD research, uh, PhD study at uh, UNC Chapel Hill, developing better tools for tele collaboration, which we call the telepresence. I started my first few years still working on this telepresence idea. We developed 3D displays. We have developed uh, new sensors and new algorithms to capture objects in 3D. And then I look at uh, to capture just not office environment, but large scale, and we work creating 3D models in real time using videos, using vehicle mounted videos. And also at that time, Google Street View um, become a product. Uh, so I think in layman's term, we, can, we are really trying to make a 3D version of Google Street View. The result is uh, good, but it's still not as good as a video imagery because it's a very challenging problem. So we need to put some better sensors onto our system. So we get a NSF grant to build a versatile 3D scanning truck, essentially. The goal is to significantly enhance the quality. So we have scanned uh, downtown Lexington. Uh, we have scanned some uh, residential area. We now actually have models for those areas as well, 3D models. Right now, we have a way to create the static models at the time that they are being captured. It's a snapshot of time. So we have nice models to start with, but the environment is changing and uh, we cannot, no one can afford to scan to every day. But uh, there are many user-generated contents, uh, cell phones and cell phone pictures and uh, maybe Google Glass uh, pictures. We are looking at a way to update our model using those user-generated content. So we want to not only reconstruct the 3D position and the color um, of the object, we also want to understand what is in there. Does it contain a car? Does it contain a vehicle? Does it, is this pavement? Is this pedestrian? It helps us to understand or recognize what this object is. So we have been working on this project for the last several years and we have got some really exciting uh, results.